friends and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching us how to create beaded neckline for different types of outfits. This dress that I have on has the neckline beaded as we all can see. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I went about beading the neckline. If you will be interested in knowing all about this process, please make sure you watch this video to the end. Try not to skip any parts so you don't miss any important information. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, now will be a fantastic time to hit the subscribe button button and remember to also click that bell notification right beside the subscribe button so you'll be the first to know every single time I post a new video. Also, if after watching you enjoyed watching, which I'm sure you would, please remember to give this video a big fat thumbs up so I know you guys enjoyed watching. Share this video with a friend and feel free to drop me questions down in the comment section. All right guys, let's get straight into the meat and the potatoes of today's video. Let's go. All right, guys, so to start off this entire process, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to smoothen out the neckline of my dress using this fabric pencil. So what happened was I did not sew the neckline straight and I didn't want to make my beading as well to be as crooked as the neckline of this dress. So I went ahead to use my fabric pencil to straighten things out. And now I've started beading. The first stitch has to be a knot. So this is me trying to knot up the first stitch on the neckline. And I chose to start from this extreme end of the scent of the front of the dress you can start from any points that you like you can do as I'm doing or start from wherever feels comfortable for you the next thing you'll be doing now is to decide what bead you want to work with for me I'm working with these seed beads in color green I could have gone away with using seed beads as well in gold ball I chose green for the day and what you want to do is first of all pick up the number of beads that will sit perfectly on the edge of your dress or whatever thing you're beading the neckline of and where you want that beading to stop so for me i wanted my beading to stop right where the stitch is for the neckline of this dress so i used bias on the neckline of this dress i wanted my beads to be in between the edge of the dress and where the stitch of this bias is feel free to tweak yours to whatever design or pattern that you want and guys while doing this my thread went ahead to tangle up on me multiple times but not to worry with patience you'll be able to detangle it and continue working i can't really say that you, there's a number of beads that you can pick because for those that are familiar with beading and how beads are structured sometimes they come in very irregular sizes right so you can't really see. if i say you should pick five all through what if you pick five tiny ones and they don't meet up that space that you're trying to fill right so pick up the number of beads that you want to work with place it on where you want it to sit and see whether it's going to fill up perfectly if it's too much don't be afraid to reduce it and if it's too little don't be afraid to also add more and you're beading in such a way that the neckline or the beads that you're arranging on the neckline they sit sequentially and they're just following each other as neatly as possible you're passing your needle in such a way that you're moving slightly to the side i'm still going to speak while working on this dress with you guys i noticed that there was a particular way in which i was beading that wasn't necessarily really doing it for me so i'm going to explain make sure that you don't skip any part so you don't miss that explanation in this video i'm going to keep quiet now allow you guys watch the way i'm illustrating this entire bidding process please remember to like this video a lot of you guys watch my content and you tell me how much you enjoy my content but the like is not liking right it's not showing it's not reflecting in the number of likes that i get on my videos right so please remember to like the video subscribe if you're not subscribed girl what are you waiting for please click that subscribe button and remember to turn on that notification bell right beside the subscribe button also share this video with a friend and feel free to ask me any questions that you have after watching this video down in the comment section or just leave feedback down in the comment section all right guys all right friends so we are almost at the end of the neckline and i just wanted to also touch on something remember at the beginning point here when i was explaining to us i mentioned that I showed us how to move our needle. What I found was that as I went along, can we see how the beads seem to be intertwining or overlapping over each other? In order to avoid that, there's a particular way in which you're supposed to pass your needle and thread in order to create like a sequence of some sort so that the neckline will just follow each other like that. And I'm going to explain here. So what you want to do as usual is to pick up your beads The number of beads that you are picking is determined by where you are trying to cover because these beads are 
ideally they are unequal they can be uneven in their measurements you cannot really say that okay this is the number of beads to pick so what you do is before passing your beads through you just place it on the neckline something like what i'm doing you can see that the bead is covering from this edge here to this um, seam line here where we have this stitch right here so i'm just going to check is it covering properly we can see that the beads are covering properly so the next thing i'm going to do now is to just move my needle to the side a little bit just slightly can we see the way i'm passing my needle just move it to the side a little bit like this not too much so that the gap between the beads too will not be too much i hope we all understand and then bring it out then repeat that same process again pick up your beads check first of all if the beads are enough okay this is enough then on this other side here you just pass your bead a little bit again to the side like so and then bring it out please take note that i'm using regular polyester thread for you you might decide to use fishing line or invisible thread it's all your call i just thought to point that out for anybody that might be curious so what i did just now i'm just going to keep doing it till i get to the end of this neckline All right, guys, so at this point, you want to just knot up your stitch. And for those that have been following my tutorials, knotting up our stitch is not a new thing. But if you are new here, just watch what I'm doing. So to knot up a beading stitch, you just kind of determine where you're passing your needle through. I can do that a couple of times. I suggest like two to three times is enough. And voila guys, we are done beading the neckline of this particular dress. I'm going to try it on so we see what it will look like. If you ever go ahead to try out any of the things that I share on here on the channel, please feel free to send to me via Instagram. You can send me a DM or just tag me in your post if you're about that. Okay, let's go try on the dress. Thank you all so much again for watching today's video. Please remember to like the video, subscribe if you're yet to subscribe, and share with a friend. Alright guys, I can't wait to see you in another one. Bye!